Hey everybody and welcome back. This week's Fast Five is all about spices. Now you may already know that you can buy a lot of individual spices for, you know, the store brand, the generic brand for super cheap, but let's look at some other ways you can save money on spices that maybe you don't know about. So let's get into this. Now, I personally am a huge fan of the ranch seasoning spice and talk, just basic taco seasoning. Now, because I use these so often, I opt to buy where it's a larger bottle and then I can measure out how much I want to use. Now, these are great options if you can afford them, but you know what? If you're just trying to get by week to week, just go ahead and get a little seasoning packet. At least that'll get you through, but keep in mind, you don't have to use a whole seasoning packet when you're cooking. Um, for us personally, using a whole pack of taco seasoning would just be way too strong. So even when we did use packs, we sometimes use that pack two, maybe three times. So keep that in mind. You don't have to use the whole pack. You can use just a little bit at a time. Now, if you do happen to have a bunch of individual spices in your spice cabinet, consider making some of these blends yourself. This is a super easy one for taco seasoning. And if you have a lot of individual spices, you could easily make your own. Just keep in mind that when you make it yourself, it doesn't have all the preservatives and anti-caking agents that the pre-made blends or the seasoning packets have. So I would make small batches. This particular one makes about the same amount that's in a packet. And I would just make maybe two to three packets worth, but it's really going to depend on how much you use. Keep in mind, the older this taco seasoning gets, meaning the longer you have it in like a little jar in your cabinet, the potency tends to weigh down. So yes, I could make a pound of taco seasoning, but if I'm not going to use it right away, then I'm going to have to start using more and more to get that same flavor. So it's definitely a balancing act. Now, these are pictures I recently took at my local IGA type store, and I know that not every store has like an ethnic aisle, but most cities do have ethnic mar uh, markets, and you should totally go check out their spices. Now, you'll notice that these are very basic packaging. Some of them come in little plastic bags, or some of them come more traditionally in like a jar but you'll notice that the prices are so much cheaper. And in fact, whenever I buy these, the intensity of the aroma from these spices is so good. And so it takes a little bit to kind of get used to it because you may not need to use as much when you get these spices because they are so potent. Now, one thing that I do is when I have a jar, say of like parsley, and then I run out of parsley, I'll opt to get a bag and then I just refill that jar with the bag. And I'm telling you, this right here has easily stepped up my spice game and hasn't cost a fortune at all. Now I'm going to include this because um, I've got a picture here of those little $1 bottles. And I'm noticing more and more places have these small packets of seasonings that you can try out. I've seen some where it's like a garlic Parmesan, I've seen Kinder's has come out with a bunch of different seasoning packets. Before you buy a gigantic bottle or, you know, a big container of a spice, try a small amount first because typically you can buy these for under two to three dollars. And before I know that I'm going to like something and want to invest in it, I want to try a small amount first. Some of these big bottles of these sauces or big bottles of these blends by these name brands some of them are awesome. Some of them I don't care for. And I just don't want to spend eight, nine, 10, 11 dollars on a giant thing of seasoning that I'm not actually going to use. So start small and then buy bulk. Now, this one is definitely on my to do list. I have done this in the past, and I can tell you that the majority of herbs are super easy to grow yourself. In fact, most of them you can grow inside, you don't even have to grow them outside. So whether you live in an apartment, you have horrible soil in your yard, it doesn't matter. You can get just a couple little decorative pots, put them in your windowsill, and trust me, these uh, the seeds that you need to grow these herbs are super cheap, and trust me, they go a long way. So you might want to 
you know, get with a friend, get with a neighbor and say, hey, I'm going to buy these three seeds. Why don't you buy three seeds and then we'll share and then we'll each have six herbs. And most of these herbs, they grow very quick and you can cut them directly off. If you get a huge growth spurt, you can cut a whole bunch off and you can kind of dry them yourself. Plus, a lot of these you can freeze too. So there's lots of options here for very little initial cost. The bonus tip this week is think outside of the grocery store. I have gotten a lot of seasoning blends at places that you may not think of. Dollar Tree has a lot of great seasonings. I like this one that's the garlic herb the garlic and pepper, and the tomato basil seasoning, those all came from the Dollar Tree. My Dollar General and even my, um, my local IGA store, they have a little section called a dollar spot where everything on that aisle is a dollar. And I genuinely pick up a lot of spices there because I'm willing to invest a dollar to try a new spice out to see if I like it. The other one is Big Lots. Now this one's very hit or miss, but I do like their French fry seasoning and it's the only place I've been able to find it and it's relatively cheap. But another thing about Dollar Tree, a lot of times they have a good selection of things like pink Himalayan salt. I just recently picked up peppercorns there. So, you know, just because it's the Dollar Tree doesn't mean you can't get spices there. They're great. Now I'm hoping that one of these tips will help you out in the next couple of weeks when you're looking at buying spices. Don't forget to tell me down below some ways that you save money on spices that you wanna share with everybody else. And also if you have any ideas of future Fast Five videos of things you would like to see, you know, some tips to save money on, make sure to leave that below as well. I hope you have a great week, bye.